There you go. You see in the bonus videos, he clarifies and he explains more and he go deeper into some topics and replies to some questions of the public. For example, difference between a sage, a mystic and a yogi. Do miracles exist? Uh, opinions hope uh, and how is these spiritual things happen so some curiosities and can positive thinking affect uh, change my life what is maya what is desire uh, some really cool actually uh, i understand that this moment is inevitable doesn't this lead me to believe in destiny so some clarifications and some great thing why can i act in this moment uh, then probably maybe someone can have during the inner engineering program there are also some tutorials which are very big like learn upa yoga which is one hour video but it teaches you the basics of the yoga and uh, some really good clarifications and talk about each kind of topic so to learn more about any kind of topics certain sounds what are yantras yantras can I handle the monk in my mind? <laughs> what do you mean by internal action? Is my life predestined? So a lot of actually cool things. So that's it. This is what I'm gonna do for this week. Guys, it's almost night time and I just finished all the uh, first, the bonus videos of the first session and I'm doing the yoga now. One of the main yo the, the yogas on the app. And in one of the last videos, uh, Sadhguru talked about why there is so much resistance towards the spiritual process. And it's said that it's because of how uncommitted people talked in such a light way about spirituality and about spiritual heavy topics. If uncommitted, an uncommitted atmosphere and people uh, that they exaggerate, talk about something so deep that requires commitment, requires an atmosphere, requires a certain level of acceptance, a certain level of receptiveness, then they just ridiculize the whole thing. And so after the whole science process, the whole science renaissance that happened during the 19th century, uh, all kinds of sciences appeared. And so they put some safeguards for different sciences. And one of the sciences that they put safeguards from uh, is, is also the science that you cannot explain logically like spirituality. So that's because of uncommitted people that uh, are eager to explain things that's it uh that's it guys another day for the sad guru and today's session two bonus videos but let me tell you i just received a good news where is it i just received a good news i'm finally negative i did the test for the covid i'm finally negative oh, i'm so happy finally so i can start going around again and that's awesome. My parents are still recovering, but that's it. I'm going to post because I blogged the entire recovery process. And I'm also going, I'm going to post this as a YouTube video. Uh, and I also am going to make uh, re tips for recovery that help me recover faster from COVID. So that's it. Let's go with the videos. Oh, and I received, let me show you. Oh my God, what happened? I bought something for meditation here. Let me show you real quick. Let me open it. Oh my God, what happens? There you go. There you go. I'm also making a video for my TikTok. Of course, guys, we have to be efficient here. Oh, it's small. It's way smaller than I thought, but it's nice. And there you go. There you go. You a uh, yoga slash meditation cushion because it really by Lotus Crafts. I order it. It's not a sponsor, but this is the one that's the one that I ordered. And since my legs hurt so much, 
because of I, I don't have that much flexibility in my hips, I'm working on it, but I decided to order a cushion anyway, because it really helps. It's plenty of, I think, wheat or something. No, not wheat, it's something, I think it's plenty of, of buckwheat. It's plenty of buckwheat inside, so it's pretty durable, 15 centimeters tall. So that's it, I'm gonna use it from now on to meditate better. And let me tell you, I also prepared something, this bottle of water, real quick, because uh, tonight was the new moon, and not only, it was also Lunar New Year, so completely new moon, and for the law of attraction, this is not something I believe in, it's not something esoterical or something. Actually, the moon helps uh, in a lot of things, the new moon helps and influence a lot of things. So there is this tradition that if you say to the, a bottle of water, your goals, your dreams, whatever, and then you put it outside during the new moon. It helps a lot for changing the vibration of the water bottle. And so you sip it for a month and it should help a lot. So I don't know, I, I just wanted to try. Uh, and tonight it was not just Lunar New Year, it was also new moon, so that's insane. That's it, so this is the, the video. And there you go, guys. Day two. Our dream significant, can positive thinking. Well, something live, how can I age gracefully? How can I drop all my desires? I did a lot of things today, so let's just go with it. It's over. It felt so good. It's amazing. The one, the main thing that I learned, a lot of things, but the main thing that I like the most is that you you think you are in misery because you are not in control of your body mind and energies you keep going just living life inside your mind if you take charge and make sure that your mind your body and your energies are doing what you want them to do so you take charge of it, you can choose about it. You learn the mechanism, the, te the technology, the machine, then you will definitely make sure you'll be joyful and not in misery. So you are in charge, you choose. That's very nice. Guys, it's the night of 11th of March, 2021. And for the yoga culture is a an important night. It's the Maha Shivratri, which is the night of Shiva, as I understand. <laughs> which basically is the the one person that brought yoga fifty thousand years ago to the world. And tonight, because of the moon and the planet, uh, the planet position, the planet's position, and also the moon position, which is a uh, no moon, I think. Uh, or new moon uh, basically is the night in which uh, in each year they celebrate and have this entire huge uh, fest huge celebration and you are supposed to stay awake the whole night and in india it's really famous as as i understand because it's live streaming from 6 p.m to 6 a.m on the next day and there are performances dancers and guided meditations and Sadhguru is the main guy there and i didn't watch it all of course but i stayed for the main performance and main meditations and i did the meditations because it has some strong meditations for yogis that are actually uh, a little bit far in the um, uh, not beginners actually but tonight because of this energy that lingers around in the air uh, no moon means that also all the entire oceans and water rises because of the tides so you are made of mo mostly water so you rise as well so there is this energy and they say that there is this energy for 
beings, living beings, and mostly for beings that are with an erect spine. So you su you are supposed to stay erect the, the entire night to receive all this energy and receive a lot of benefits. And doing these meditations help, and do this yoga help. So I've been doing the practices with them and followed some mantras, follow some of the chants that they have but now it's really late and i think i'm just gonna go to sleep but it was pretty nice pretty nice it was very cool i'll link down in the description the live stream if you want to watch it it's very long but it's pretty cool and i think that every month there is a shivratri but just once per year there is a maha shivratri hello guys marco for the future here <laughs> from the future and i just wanted to tell you that i was editing the video and i was going to tell you at the end of the video that uh, next week you're gonna see the continuous the the next part of this vlogging this spiritual journey that i'm having and i'm going to show you the what i'm learning like i'm going to finish all the bonus videos uh, of the inner engineering program and in the meanwhile i will be doing the isha kriya so i'm going to start my first kriya for 48 days, a mandala of a Kriya meditation, a Kriya yoga, which is something that actually changes you in inside. So I'm going to block that for 48 days. And so uh, that's why it's been a while that I'm vlogging this whole thing. And after I'm finishing the first mandala of the Asia Kriya, and once I'm finishing the first, um, the inner engineering course, I'm going to have the completion for the Shambhavi Maha Mudra Kriya and also blog that for the final technique that Sadhguru is going to tell you and teach you uh, so to initiate yourself into the spiritual journey and change every single day. So these Kriya meditations, these Kriya yogas have, have a lot of benefits. So in the next video, you're going to see my experience of doing it for a uh, full mandala and also finishing the videos of the Inner Engineering program. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.